All right. Hi, hello, uh, my name's Than, Trevor Nathaniel. Today, um, we're going to be trying a couple pieces from the um, Mac Black Cherry Collection. Here's what the outside looks like, and then here's the actual component. Very pretty. Yeah, I saw these teased a while ago, but I wasn't sure if they were gonna have um, a US release, but they, they did. <laughs> They have it. Um, yeah, so I got two of the blushes. Uh, Under My Plum, which is more of like a like reddy kind of color. And then Look Don't Touch, which is more of like a coral, corally pink. Coral leaning pink. Yeah. And there is a couple more, I think. And I'll insert swatches too of these. So there's these we're trying. Um, I got a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Wonder Glow Primer and I've always wanted to try this. So I'm gonna use it under a matte foundation, I think, just so we can see how the glow part <laughs> will affect a matter foundation. Um, and then I also, I got a new uh, brush for contour from Beautylicious Blush Line, the Yana series. And this is brush number four. I'm also gonna um, continue testing this um, new Tatcha Silk Powder, so I'm excited to get to that step too. Okay. Hair up. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Glow Primer. Cute. Ooh, it looks like it has um, some shimmer in it. That's what it looks like, kind of gold. I've always wanted to try um, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. That might be something I test soonish. So, I mean, it looks like a gold color when it's all together, but you know, once you blend it out, it doesn't really have a color to it. It's just sort of like radiant. It doesn't really have a scent. Yeah, it, do it doesn't have a scent, I don't think. It feels fine. It feels sort of like I just put on um, like a nice moisturizer, and I can see the um, reflex on my face. Okay, so let's go with my favorite foundation, which also happens to be matte, <laughs> the Dior Forever, in the shade um, uh, 00N. Dior just released um, a new, like, they jumped on that <laughs> natural foundation trend where all these brands are coming out with foundations and they're like, 96% natural ingredients, like the, um, <laughs> <laughs> this Givenchy one that I just reviewed, um, Guerlain has one. I feel like lots of brands are doing this with that number, 96 or 97%. <laughs> oh, I love this foundation. Just so nice. Oh, but okay, so what I was saying. <laughs> so Dior is, ha, has that new um, natural nude foundation or whatever, but I'm like kind of scared to get it because they don't have the 00N shade that they usually have. And um, they only have 17 shades, which is like nothing. And even if they say it's light coverage, like, <laughs> like they're like, oh, you can get away with, you know, not using, or you know, you can get away with it not being your exact match because it's light, but. I don't know if I really believe that when brands say that. I feel like that's just a cop out. Anyways, the Dior concealer. <laughs> okay, so. And we'll. <laughs> I guess we'll set it with the Dior powder too. Oh my god. Gosh, this might as well just be a Dior video. Let's try this new contour brush. So again, this is the Beauty Liciano series uh, brush number four. And we'll use the um, Rome and contour today. Okay, let's see. Oh, 
I like that. Uh, this could also use as a really large eyeshadow brush too, just like how I use my other brush that I use for contour. Yeah, this is what I normally use for contour, the Shakuta Angled Face Brush. Um, and it's just um, a little bit bigger than the Ana series. I believe this is goat hair, whereas the Ana one is squirrel. And it's, yeah, a little bit bigger and it's a different shape. But both have similar functions. This was fun to use. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's try these blushes. Now, usually I don't use multiple blushes in one look, but I'm gonna use both today. Like, if there was three, like in the case of when I reviewed the V blushes, I split them across three videos, but since I'm only using two shades of this, I'll just, I think I'm gonna put the darker one towards the back and then the lighter one towards the front. And I'll just do it one at a time so you can see. So let's start with um, Under My Plum, which is the deeper one. Um, the first time I ever tried MAC was on this channel <laughs> when I reviewed the um, Moon Masterpiece collection and I like fell in love. I love this collection so much. The eyeshadow palette, the highlighter I use a lot and the blush is so pretty. So I really wanted to try this um, different formula from them. And this is more of like a shimmery sort of like um, metallic-ish blush. Okay, so this is under my plum. I use the Sonia G Smooth Buffer to buff in the lighter shade um, Look It Down Touch into like more of like the apples on my cheeks. So they're pretty similar, of course. One is just deeper and one's lighter. <laughs> I think they actually work good in this way, using the darker one on the back. And they are shimmery, but not in like a way that I feel like it's emphasizing too much. I think it went a little too low though on this side. Fuck, it's okay. I'm gonna buff still, I forgot. <laughs> Once I buff it, it won't be as bad. Okay, so go back into um, under my plum for this side in the back. We are super blushed today. Yeah, I like those. I like really like the formula because it's sparkly, but it doesn't really emphasize texture too much. Yeah, it just looks really pretty. And, oh, wow. Yeah, I really like this formula. I would love it in more of like a peachy tone, like kind of the shade of, like the shade uh, from the Moon Masterpiece collection, except in this sparkly formula. Okay, so I'm just taking that touch of silk powder with the um, Sony G Face One. Ugh, too much, too much. So this powder has a little like rubber band thing that goes around the opening to the well and oh my god I forgot to put it in and there's just so much powder in it <laughs> so I got a little bit too much on my face but it's okay. I think it still looks good. I'm just super glowy. Right in um, the center of my face with the Pat McGrath powder. Pat McGrath Divine Rose 1 and into the light taupe, rosy taupe matte and just put that everywhere. And this is the 
Sony G uh, Blender Pro. Worker Pro, and go into this sort of lilac-y uh, shimmery shade. Pencil Pro back into that mat. Gonna take the Worker 3. Okay, so apparently the movie, <laughs> it said movie stop recording, so I don't know what, uh, when it stopped recording, hopefully not that long ago, but I'm gonna finish off the eye look with um, this sort of iridescent pink like topper shade and put that in the center inner corner actually I'm not gonna stop there I'm gonna <laughs> add the glitter too but second to last step okay yeah so now I'm going into the super shiny glitter the um, Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara. Merit Brow Gel. Now, I don't really need highlighter, but <laughs> I'm gonna add some more <laughs> shine to the face today. Okay, where'd it go? Fenty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade uh, Fire Crystal. And this is the Wayne Goss Airbrush. Gonna go in with Juicy Lastington from Roman Funky Melon. I love it. I love this shade so much. It's so good. And these tints have pretty good lasting power. That's after I rubbed it off. So, at least a nice stain. I'm gonna spray my face and then I'll be back with my um, final thoughts. Okay, so I just sprayed my face with the green tea um, soothing mist from Round Around. <laughs> and let's zoom in. This primer, um, I'm not sure if I really can see much of a difference. I mean, my skin's really glowy, but <laughs> I mean, it's hard to tell because um, this Tatcha powder adds such a nice sheen and also these um, blushes are really shiny as well and I added highlighter, <laughs> so I'm just glowy all around. Um, but you know, my face doesn't, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a matte foundation, so that's good. It just feels like natural. But this is also just, <laughs> the Dior foundation is also just a really good matte foundation. I don't know. <laughs> Everything I tried today was good. <laughs> These blushes are so nice. I really want to pick up um, like a coral shade in this formula. I thought this was supposed to be, um, more corally than it is, but it, it's pretty pink. I hope everything's okay. I forgot to adjust my <laughs> settings again after the close-up. Okay, so yeah, blush definitely approved. Need to try more in this formula. Primer, gonna need to test more. <laughs> um, this powder I really think is amazing. Such a good finishing powder. Did I test anything else? Blushes, powder, primer. Oh, my brush, my brush. Oh my God, <laughs> this cute little brush. I love it. I think it's really nice. It fits right into the, like, the contours of your face. It should since it's 
you know, <laughs> advertised as a contour brush, but you know what I'm saying, it's just so nice, I love. One thing to note about squirrel hair is don't use it on, don't use squirrel hair brushes on an unset face because um, the hairs are more delicate than goat and they can break more easily if you use them with like cream products. So make sure your face is not tacky. Um, I uh, am applying <laughs> to be part of the Sephora squad for 2021. So I'm gonna leave a link down below where if you want, um, you can leave a little testimonial about why you like my channel and maybe why you would think I would be a good fit for the support squad. So yeah, it'd mean a lot if you did that. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload. Um, and follow my Instagram, Prettier Than Graham. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great weekend. And I should be back with another video Monday or Tuesday. Okay, bye. <laughs>